Okay, today we're going to talk to you about fuel cells. We're going to learn what fuel cells are, what they can be used for, the advantages and the disadvantages. Okay, so to begin with, it's really important to know that fuel cells, essentially, they use hydrogen as their fuel. Now, what they could be used for is essentially, they could be used to power vehicles. Now, this is meant to be a car that I've drawn here, but essentially they release energy, which can be used to power vehicles. So how do they work? So if we have a look, I'm gonna show you the equation that goes with fuel cells. So within a fuel cell, we have a simple reaction happening. Hydrogen reacts with oxygen in order to release water. So this is the equation. Now, as this equation, as the reaction occurs, we also have the release of a lot of energy. And this energy could be used to power vehicles like the one pictured here. So let's have a quick look at this word equation. So our reactants, hydrogen and oxygen, where did they actually come from? So we could actually get hydrogen by doing the electrolysis of water. So that's using an electric current in order to separate the um, to separate the water into hydrogen and oxygen. Now we could get the oxygen we can get from the air or from the electrolysis of water as well. So those are our reactants that are required. Um, now let's have a quick look at the advantages of fuel cells. So the first massive advantage is the fact that water is a renewable resource. So, currently in car, most cars use either petrol or diesel that they burn. Those are fossil, uh, they come from fossil fuels and they are running out. Once we burn fossil fuels, we can't replenish them, we can't make more. Whereas when we um, have this reaction, we produce more water. So it's a renewable process. Um, we, there's also a plentiful supply of water available in order to get our hydrogen from. So this is a massive benefit of using fuel cells compared to using fossil fuels. Another advantage is water is not a pollutant. So if we think about it, when we burn fossil fuels, we're producing lots of different gases. We're producing carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, oxides of nitrogen, and soot. All of these things from burning fossil fuels can produce different problems. That produces global warming. Sulfur dioxide produces acid rain. That's a poisonous gas. That causes photochemical smog. That causes breathing difficulties. So when we have fuel cells used instead, water is the only product. It's much, much cleaner. It doesn't cause any of these effects, so none of those gases are produced. Only water is produced as a product, which is much better for the environment. So, we also need to learn about the disadvantages, because fuel cells are far from perfect. The first disadvantage is we need a special and expensive engine. So currently, the current technology means we can't mass produce cheaply lots of fuel cells and be able to run them cheaply. So they st still currently have very expensive engines. Also, hydrogen is difficult to store. Now, the reason for this is it's a gas at room temperature, so it takes up a very large volume compared to, let's say, petrol or diesel. So therefore, we have storage difficulties. Now, finally, production of hydrogen, oh, production of hydrogen is expensive and relies on fossil fuels. Now, this is a big problem because obviously one of the advantages is the fact that it's renewable and we're not producing any of these um, gases that we normally get from fossil fuels. But when we produce the hydrogen, get the hydrogen in the first place, we are using fossil fuels. The reason for that is we need to carry out electrolysis. Now, electrolysis reactions require a lot of energy 
And that energy is more than likely going to come from burning fossil fuels, which does release these gases. So currently, using our current um, energy structures, we're still going to have a problem when it comes to production of hydrogen. So overall, currently, with current technology, fuel cells are extremely expensive and impractical. Um, so that's basically the, uh, an overview of fuel cells, how they work, the advantages and the disadvantages. Thank you.